So you are watching episode zero of me and my friends Pokemon D&D 5e campaign. Uh, we wanted to play D&D and some of them just wanted to play Pokemon versions. So that's what we ended up doing. It's a really cool system. It's called Pokemon 5e. Definitely look it up if you're interested in playing Pokemon D&D. Uh, &D. It's my first time DMing, but the first few sessions went really well. So I started recording them, which actually means I'm going to cover episode one through four in this video. And then technically the recording started episode five. Which is a little unfortunate because it starts right at not the best part, but that's fine. Um, it gets really good and that stays really good, so I'm excited to show that. But I'll just go over the first four sessions just so it's a little easier to actually know what you're getting into because there's a lot of characters right at the start and it's definitely confusing. Um, even with this video, it's going to be probably a little confusing. But our game is called Pokemon Summer Camp. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. Our three characters are little kids at a Pokemon Summer Camp becoming trainers for the first time. So we have three player characters. They are Lee, played by Lee, Reggie, played by Menin, and Cymex, played by Catherine. So um, they all meet on a boat as they're going to the island with a bunch of other kids that are gonna be in their camp. There's 18 total, so it's a lot of characters to introduce right away, uh, which is a little unfortunate why it didn't get recorded. Uh, but they, they meet them all and they have a really good time. Um, that's pretty much like the whole first session was they were just meeting characters and going to an island um, and eventually they do get there and they'll actually start their quest. So session two is uh, the PCs landing and they get off and they, they walk through this giant scientific futuristic building and they're, they're walking through it and a man, a scientist, is walking up towards them to talk to them and a, a Rhyhorn comes running down the hallway, almost tramples him to death, thankfully he's saved by some chokes that were luckily by with a ranger. Um, he tells the kids to be safe and then he shows them off to their starter, the starter area. They can look through all these different Pokemon. They have everything they could want and the people can choose whatever they want. Um, so Menin actually brought his own lily pup. Then Cymex found a Venonat and Lee was uh, looking for a ponytail, but they were out. So she took a uh, Vulpix instead. And when Cymex tried to take their Venonat, a kid named Barrett tried to take it as well and they got into a fight and this other kid named Xavier covered for Cymex, which made Barrett really angry and got him in trouble. And now there's kind of an angry rivalry that'll come up later um, in the campaign between those two. Uh, then they meet up, all, all the kids, now that they have their starters, are told to go through like a little adventure to get to their camp. They have to walk on a path that they have a map to, uh, fight some Pokemon. They don't get to catch anything yet, and the kids actually find a secretive door that was hidden in the forest uh, that has a picture of Ho-Oh on it. So they find that they can't do anything with it yet right now though, so they go to the camp and then they pick their tents and they, they talk to the kids as they're waiting at the camp. And that's where session two would end. So session three picks up and one of the groups hasn't all come back. So the uh, the counselors, which are Ezra and Autumn, take the kids to go find um, the, the missing group. They, uh, they have to look through the forest and our PCs actually do happen onto them. They're being attacked by the evil team Wild uh, they're the evil team of this area. They they capture and take Pokemon and then they release them into the wild. Uh, they say that this area is unnatural, um, while the scientists say that it is natural and it is a good habitat for Pokemon. So they they steal the kids' uh, Pokemon, the, the ones that were lost, and then our PCs scare them off and fight uh, the last one that's left. And they rescue the kids, but they're not able to get the Pokemon back. They meet a lady in red who was with Team Wild, kind of leading it. Uh, but she gets away. Then the kids are rescued. Chris comes down, the leader of the scientist faction, uh, congratulates the kids, thanks them a lot, and then pulls all of the PCs and the kids they saved, flies them on his Gyarados over the whole island, and they land in the Camp 20, their campsite. They unload. Uh, the counselor's are really happy. The kids are really excited, and they all go to dinner because it's dinner time, and they actually even miss snack time. So the PCs are really hungry. They've had a big day so far. So they have dinner where they meet um, some of the counselors from a different campsite called Camp 19, the one right next to Camp 20. Cymex doesn't like one of them and punches them, which gets Cymex in trouble. Um, Cymex will have to clean latrines for the rest of the week. So that, that's kind of what happens at dinner. They talk to kids and then they, they go back and they go to a, an amphitheater because the end of the day, first day at this camp, there's always like a big a big show where the kids do skits and they have a lot of fun, stuff like that. The first kid to go up just holds up a mirror and says the audience is the joke, which the audience is bewildered and Reggie boos him. Uh, this booing makes the whole audience boo, so this little 10-year-old is getting booed off a of stage um, for being, well, pretty arrogant. 
So he gets booed off the stage, taken away, um, and he's very not happy with Reggie. He knows that he started it, so that might uh, come into play later. When the PCs do their skit, it's Reggie doing magic, because that's what he's really into. He's really into magic, so he does a magic, a few magic tricks, and they start to go wrong randomly. He should be able to do them really easily, but it's like things are getting pulled out of his hand, and he, th he thinks he noticed Ronald uh, bring back a Pokemon that might have been messing with him. So there's a beef kind of starts there, um, and then he goes back to camp because the, the amphitheater is done, the show is done, and they, they go to bed for the night and they wake up the next morning, and that's where session five starts. So I think I skipped a session in there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, that, that's just pretty much what happened leading up till session five, and then uh, that's episode one, the next episode in this uh, video playlist. And yeah, just have a good time watching it. Uh, the audio sometimes cuts out and the video sometimes doesn't work, but overall, uh, it's a really fun experience. Yeah, hopefully you like it. This is a Pokemon Summer Camp. Have a good day.